cracked walls, inadequate equipment, and lack of space at the chief's compound in Kijewo is negatively impacting healthcare delivery there. The facility opened only last year and is struggling to meet the health needs of residents of Kijewo Bato in the East Gonja municipality of the Savannah region. My colleague Komladum reports the situation is preventing residents from seeking healthcare there, including pregnant women. <laughs> Kijewu Bato, a predominantly fishing community in the East Gonja municipality of the Savannah region. <laughs> Social services are limited and access to healthcare is a big challenge despite the opening of the Kijewu Chips compound. The 2022 United Nations Research Institute for Social Development flagship report on the crisis of inequality reveals most countries, especially poor countries, have insufficient health facilities, medical supplies, and healthcare workers for the surge in demand. In Kijewu Bato, all of these are hampering healthcare delivery. East Gonja Municipal Health Director Zakaria Kasim knows the only chips facility in this entire enclave is in a bad shape. The walls are falling apart. They were built somewhere 2014, 2015, and they were left unattended to. By all means, naturally, they would deteriorate. Also, the quality of work was also another. So that is the situation, and uh, it's not a good one. We decided to visit the facility to see things for ourselves. From afar, it looks like a decent facility, but a closer view reveals huge cracks and more. Let's get into the detention room. So in here, there's only one bed available as you'd find, and they are having to use these screens to partition this place so there's some level of privacy for individuals who show up here if there are more than one you know then they would have to use the partition because there's not enough beds to detain the patients who come here member of parliament for salaga south hajia zuwira ibrahima knows the situation here needs urgent attention i recently donated some ceiling fans to them to so that the place uh, at least will be a little bit comfortable for the patients when they come in. So healthcare generally in the entire uh, municipality is a big challenge and uh, we would wish that we could do more for the people. <laughs> 16-year-old Comfort Konedu is three months pregnant and living with her boyfriend. She does not remember the last time she went to school, even while she was in Cape Coast, where she lived with her mother. But the lack of equipment at the Kijewu Chips facility means access to antenatal care is difficult. We can't carry out scans and we have to go to Yeji. That journey is almost four to five hours by boat. She wants the Kijewu chips compound to be properly stocked so the three to four hour long treacherous journey to Yeji via boat would be a thing of the past. If the facility could be upgraded and all the services provided, we would be happy. Like comfort, Esther believes the many medical complications among pregnant women and other residents here would reduce the facility is in a better state. Our long travels to Yeji will cease if the chips facility here is able to cater for all our needs. East Gonja Municipal Health Director Zakaria Kasim says something will be done about the facility. The with the Municipal Assembly and the MP to see how we can get it renovated. Ghana failed to meet the Millennium Development Goal, now the Sustainable Development Goal target of reducing maternal mortality rates by 75% by 2015. Even with seven years to the 2030 target of the SDGs, access to health services for many women in rural communities like Kijewu Bato remains a challenge before, during and after birth. According to the 2017 Ghana Maternal Health Survey, the maternal mortality ratio in Ghana remains high. 
310 deaths per 100,000 live births. And antenatal care services remain elusive because women located within the lowest bracket in terms of income levels are unable to afford the cost of service.